Hello Sheena Douglas again and here I am with the beautifully grunge set with a different technique. Now any of the techniques that you're going to see with these different colours obviously can apply to any of the other sets but I just wanted to mix it up just to see because really we've barely scratched the surface of what you can do with the aqua tints but this is one of my absolute favourite things. So what I've done is I've got three colours ready and I'm not going to use the whole lot this time so um, I have a dark purple, I've got the pink and I've got kind of like a mustardy yellow and this is the, the colour, these are the colours if you were wondering. So we're going to use this one, 53 for this, I'm going to use 58 and I'm going to use 27. I love that set, very, very, um, as it says, beautiful and slightly grungy, bit muted, very designer, gorgeous. So what we're going to do with this, in this tutorial, we're going to look at um, this kind of finish here. I think that is amazing. That, um, if anyone told me that this had been applied with ink, using cut and dry foam, I just wouldn't believe it. Because I have strived with ink that's designed to do that, to get such a perfect finish as this. And to think that liquid paint can do this, that to me is amazing. And this is what we're going to be doing. So um, here's a little one I made earlier with these colours. You can see how well one colour's blended into the other. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll pop those two a little bit further back because we're not going to use the palette this time. The first thing I need to do, you need to do is to get yourself some glycerin. Now I've um, decanted mine into a little jar, which I think is just easier to use. And I'm going to splodge three areas of a good kind of one of your large brush um, loads of glycerin onto your mat. And we'll pop that, in fact, and I'm going to do just a one extra just there just a little bit extra on its own and we'll pop the jar back on there. This is water soluble so that'll just clean up in your water as you're going. Next thing I'm going to take a piece of cut and dry foam for each colour. So I'm going to before I start, even if this was brand new cut and dry foam and I hadn't used it before, I'm going to mop up that glycerin onto my cut and dry foam and try to get it so that it's kind of even over the area I'm going to use. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my colour you just squeeze it then let go you'll see it's going nowhere until you tell it to and we're going to drop one two three four drops maybe of it onto there and then try to get it so that it's even over your cut and dry foam now you've still got loads and loads on there if you think you might have too much have a little tester on a spare piece of card yeah that's a lot on there so we need less so just you can take some off Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to start, as you would, with your cut and dry foam for a blending effect. Go ahead and just apply the colour. And what I've done is I've got half of it where there's no colour. And when I can see that I've got a lot on there and it's going nowhere, I want to blend it out. I've just flipped the foam over. Look at that gorgeous blend. I think that's fantastic. We'll put a little bit, maybe this side as well. Pick up a little bit of the colour again if you want to. We'll pop it on quite, so there's quite a lot there. Then it's blended out. And you'll find it just glides over the surface and it blends into virtually nothing. You really can get a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, you know, kind of faded vignette look. We're going to do the same with another colour. Let's try the pink. So we'll take the, the foam, splodge it, get some glycerin on there, take a little bit of the colour, one two, three, I mean, you know, I'm only going to do three drops this time and then try to pat it so that you're going to get that dispersed over your foam as best you can and then apply that colour. Now you can see there's a lot there again so I'm turning that over and then I'm just taking some of it off and then just blending it very, very gently one into the other. Look at how well that's going on that surface. Seriously, seriously great effect, great technique. And of course you can build it up. So if you want a darker, we'll just add a little bit more in a minute. Even with a darker colour, the purple, got a piece of foam for that, glycerin. You won't have to put the glycerin on every time if you keep reloading this. The glycerin's just to one, two, one. The glycerin is just to retard the drying time of your aqua tints and it makes it thicker and it smooths it, makes it smooth over the surface a lot easier. So you see how there's quite a lot on there. Let me just blend that in. 
I think I've got a dirty bit of cut and dry foam, but you still get the idea. It still looks great. We use that clean bit there. Really, really is. There's no elbow work involved here. You really are just, um, you know, barely touching the surface to get this on here. And it just wants to glide. Look, see, it just wants to go further. You find it just, it's just like silk over the surface. And the effect you can get are, I think, stunning. Um, if you've got anything on you, just wipe it up if you've got any excess. The secret to this is using a, just a small amount. And then, of course, when it's done, you've got a really, you're happy with your blend and you think, yeah, I'm good with that, happy with that. I've got barely noticeable trans transition from one colour to the next. If I had achieved that with ink, that would be like a master class. But remember, I'll just wipe these bits up here, this extra. By the way, that little bit of extra glycerin was there, just in case I hadn't picked up enough when I first applied my paint. But because I'd used that foam before, um, it already had glycerin in it, um, you could just add touch up a little bit. But another thing I wanted to show you is that we can still drop water on there. So if you want to stamp, you know, wet your stamps and then stamp onto it, and then blot it like you do with your inks for like a batik look. Still do it, just drop it on there, leave it for a little bit, just do a little test stamp. Yeah, perfect, look at that. Seriously, you, have, you know, if inks would release the colour as well as that as well. This is something, this is what I've kind of been wanting for years, but didn't know what it was. And now I have it with the Aquatints. Perfect, so that's your cut and dry technique. Um, with a touch of glycerin, those are going to go so far, you can, I mean, three drops of each colour, seriously. Um, and again, we're still experimenting. We'll be back with more techniques. Um, check out the other colours in the range for different te different um, techniques and tips. And go to um, Crafters Companion for more inspiration or Sheena.tv where you'll see a gallery of cards made with um, the Aquatins. And we'll see you next time. Thanks very much.